So you want a laptop, then of course you like to take it with you when you travel. But sometimes recharging your laptop can be a bit of a challenge. Sometimes it may not be easy to find an AC wall outlet that you can plug your charging unit into. So what are your options? Well, one very good option would be to take along a small portable power station like this Blue Eddy AC2A. But the AC2A has more features than you really need for just charging a laptop. And in addition to that, plugging your AC wall invert wall charger into it means the inverter is going to rob some of the battery capacity away from it. Not the most efficient way of charging your laptop. What other options do you have? Well, Blue Weddy has considered this and they've come out with this. The Blue Weddy X20, specifically designed for charging your laptop. If you're interested, keep watching. Before we get started, I want to thank Blue Weddy for sending out the X20 laptop charging unit so that I could share it with you. Now, this will be a relatively short video because honestly, there's not a whole lot to say about the X20. It is designed by Blue Weddy specifically for people who want nothing more than the ability to charge their laptops. All right, in order to share the features with you, I'll take the camera down to the table. We'll go over it quickly and I'll give you my thoughts on using it. All right, before we focus in directly on the X20, let me share what else it came with. So it did come with a manual and warranty information. It comes with a USB Type-C to USB Type-C fast charge cable. This is what you're going to be recharging the power station up with when you need to. And it comes with this cable, quite a heavy duty cable. This is a 20 volt 8 amp cable that will be used for charging your laptop. Now, in addition to that, you're going to need this. This is a package of 12 different DC adapters, which Blue Weddy says will work on at least 90% of the laptops on the market today. So we'll put those two things aside and let's bring the power station back in. Actually, Blue Weddy refers to this as a battery bank and not a power station. And I expect the reason they do so is because it only delivers DC power like a small power bank would. This does not deliver AC power. So when you look at it, the first thing you're going to notice is that there are no AC plugs on the sides. It's strictly a DC power bank. Now, as far as the capacity for this power bank, it has uh, 153 watt hours power stored in it. So it's not a huge battery by any means. Certainly other battery uh, power stations can store a lot more. It does make use of the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So they are the safe longest living batteries, of course. And it comes in at 2.3 kilograms or just over five pounds. I'll give you the dimensions for the unit in the video description if you're interested in that. Now, as far as power input to the unit goes, as mentioned, it is charged using USB Type-C fast charge or PD cables. You'll have to supply the charger. Bluetti does not send one with it. It will charge at a rate of 100 watts maximum. So it takes a little bit of time, but not too long to charge the unit up if it's right down to zero. Now, as far as the output port goes, there are first off two USB type A traditional ones here. One is a uh, five volt, 2.1 amp and 10.5 watt max. The other one is the QC3 protocol, and that delivers a variety of voltages and amperage for different units. So these can be used in the traditional way for charging cell phones, flashlights, cameras, whatever you need to use. So you do have that flexibility with this. But of course, the star of the show is the DC port here, and the DC port is rated at 20 volts, eight amps, delivering a maximum of 160 watts. And that's what's needed for charging laptops. Well, you don't want to slow charge them or trickle charge them. You want to charge them as rapidly as the device will allow. And that's what that port, the cable, and those adapters are for. Now, as far as the operation of the device goes, very much like other Blue Eddy uh, power stations, press the button to turn it on. When it's on, it lights up. It has both input and output power. 
Very simple, very clear, very basic, because once again, this is just delivering DC power, but it will tell you which port it is delivering the power from. All right, I promised to share with you my experiences using the Blue Eddy X20 and how it worked out for me. Problem is, is I don't own a laptop. Now, for whatever reason, when Bluetti offered to send this to me, I accept it because I really like the compact size and form factor for the power bank. I didn't realize at the time it was only going to be DC. Now, I know that's a bit of an excuse, and it was on me that I did not have a laptop to test it with. But I resolved that by borrowing my daughter's laptop to make sure that it would work with laptops as advertised. And it does. So the experience I have is with my daughter's laptop and not with mine personally. And this really is something that a laptop user who is on the move, who doesn't always have access to AC power to charge their battery or their laptop up, this is a device worth looking for. Now, if you have your if your needs are greater than just charging your laptop, that's where you may want to look at another power station like the AC2A or even the AC. C70, depending on just how much capability you need, of course. If you're interested in my reviews of the AC2A, the AC70, and the other Blue Eddy power stations I own, I'll put a link to the playlist and you can take a look and see if one of those are more appropriate to your needs. But once again, if it's a laptop that you own and that's all you're interested in charging, then why spend the extra money and carry the extra weight that those larger power stations have when in fact this will serve your needs? All right, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. I'll be putting all the specifications for this unit as well as the links to where you can take another look at it in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.